Hi there, thank you for tuning in. I wanna thank you for your interest in Solano Community College's registered nursing program. Ideally, I would like for this to be the first video that a person would watch who is thinking that they might wanna become a nurse. So this is called Getting Started on the Registered Nursing Path, Exploring Registered Nursing. So this was, these series of videos were created by the counseling and the health science departments, specifically in health science, um, some of the registered nursing professors. So you're thinking that you might wanna become a nurse. These are just, these videos are just one tool to give you some information to see if you think it might be the right fit for you. The reason that um, I say that is because the journey to complete the prerequisites can take a minimum of two years. I wanna just, just briefly illustrate for you how much time it could take for you to prepare for our community college program. So um, at, at a minimum, it's gonna take you two to three years to complete the requirements to apply to our nursing program. I would say that that is true for any nursing program because you have to have chemistry, anatomy, physiology, microbiology, um, a series of general education courses. I have another video that I would encourage you to watch that's called Preparation and Requirements to Apply to Solano's Nursing Program. So um, then you have once you complete the requirements, you apply one year in advance. So another requirement that you have to do is you have to um, take and pass what's called a T's test. Um, you have to meet our composite score. So um, again, that's covered in that other video. Those that meet the requirements then go in the lottery. Yes, a lottery. So there's no guarantee that you're gonna be picked the first time. Um, you meet all the requirements, you go into the lottery. Solano has um, space for 48 students once per year. Um, so of course we encourage you to um, not only consider our program, but also consider some of the other community college programs, as well as the California State Universities, the private schools. Um, keep all of your options open. So those that meet the requirements, requirements go into the lottery and then the actual nursing program is two years. Um, so the journey just for the community college, our community college could take five years. Um, I will say that's probably um, very similar to a Cal State program. Um, now you might be saying, well, why would I apply to a community college program when I could go right to like Sac State or Cal State East Bay? and just directly get my BSN? Well, that's a really good question. I think I say this in another video, but so nursing is, um, has been very popular. So with its popularity, it has driven up the, um, the threshold for the grade point average. So like Sac State, so I'm doing this video in spring of 2020, Sacramento State, for example, wants you to have like a 3.9 GPA in the prerequisite courses and some of the general education. They, they give you points if you have experience, et cetera. So my point is, if you can get right into a, a Cal State, go for it. Um, but, but definitely, as I already said, prepare for and apply to multiple programs. So again, this is a profession that you really wanna research, really do some soul searching, um, to make sure it's what you want to do, again, because the path to do it takes a long time. So um, think of this more as like a, a marathon and not a sprint. You, you want to do it slow and methodically so that you get really good grades because the better grades that you get, the more opportunities you're going to have uh, in terms of programs that you could apply to. So um, some of the other topics that I'm gonna cover in this short video are, what is nursing? And so we use the term nursing and RN, which stands for registered nurse, um, pretty interchangeably. I'm also gonna talk about some ways that you can research to see if you are gonna be a future nurse, if nursing is something that you really wanna do. So let's talk just briefly a little bit about what is nursing. So nursing, nurses promote wellness, they care for, and they teach members of our community. So nurses are not only teaching their patients, they're also teaching their, the patient's families. Um, 
it's a profession that really combines science and service. It's also known as the science of caring. The first time I heard that, I just really loved it. I mean, because um, as a nurse, you have to have a lot of heart and you have to have caring is essential. Um, you have to have that intrinsic motivation to help want to relieve human suffering. Um, you have to have strong empathy and compassion for people and have a motivation to help want to help relieve their suffering. You got to think about it. You know, could, can you be around people who are, um, you know, going through difficulty? So with that said, you know, nursing is very demanding. It's stressful. It's exceedingly difficult and challenging because most of the time you're working with people during the worst time of their life. So it's not for everyone. Um, you know, witnessing patient suffering is really difficult. But on the flip side, it's ex extremely rewarding. So you can imagine how rewarding it must be for, you know, to be with someone at their lowest point and you help them to get on the pathway to healing. Um, and, and what a privilege that would be to see someone just, you know, go from being really sick to progressing to wellness and finally being discharged from the hospital and or, you know, rewarding to be there with a patient who, you know, is not going to get better and you're there to provide their comfort and their care um, in the last part of their life. Um, so, so it is very rewarding. Um, I, I think most nurses would say that they wouldn't do anything else with their life. And um, I know that I share this in another video, but most nurses say that it, nursing really is a calling that you really have to have it in your heart and in your, um, just in your inner, your DNA almost, um, because it's, it's um, such a noble profession that you're really, you know, you're dealing with life and death situations and not everybody can handle that. So it's with that, it's very rewarding. It requires dedication and commitment. And so you could see that on the, one of the previous slides I just talked about, just the pathway through the prerequisites um, and then to actually get into the program. So the program itself is very rigorous. The program, when you're actually make it into the two-year nursing program, the pass rate is you have to pass with a 75% or, or above, usually passing is 70%, but in, when you're in the program, it's 75%. And there's just, um, it's, it's quite a rigorous program. And as a result of it being so rigorous, the students really bond and they connect and, you know, you become like the nursing cohort becomes like a family. So, you know, the, the, as a nursing, pre-nursing student, a nursing student, you have to be dedicated and committed. And then once you become a nurse, you have to be very committed. Um, you know, again, because it's, it's a profession where it's very physical, you know, you're always on your feet, you're dealing with people, you're, um, you're having to follow really strict protocol, etc. So you want to make sure it's what you really want to do. I think that's true for any career that you're going to embark on, but especially for nursing because of the pathway. I would say probably anything in healthcare, you want to make sure it's what you really want to do. So this is um, the American Nursing Associ Association's Nursing Social Policy Statement. So it says, nursing is the pivotal healthcare profession, highly valued for its specialized knowledge, skills, and caring in improving the health status of the public and ensuring safe, effective, quality care. So, man, I read this and this is, we're going through this pandemic right now in our, in our world and Man, it just makes me want to become a nurse to relieve human suffering and make the world a better place. How powerful would that be? So um, what is nursing some ways to research? So these are just some websites that you can use, some of probably many websites that you can use to start looking at, you know, what is it like to be a nurse? Um, it's important to look at the uh, online resources. I think that's a good starting point for research because you, you want to start getting an idea of, you know, what is it really like to be a nurse? Am I, am I really going to like it? You know, what, what's good about it? What's bad about it? Can I see myself in that kind of setting? Um, so research definitely is essential. Um, 
Some of the other ways that you can research are by doing informational interviews. So informational interviews are where you contact um, a person who is in the health, in the profession that you want to pursue, in this case, registered nursing, and you ask that individual for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes of their time to ask them about their profession. You know, what is a typical day like? What do they like best about their job? What do they like the least about their job? Um, what, what are some advice or some tips that they would give you, you know, someone who's considering this profession? So that's really important. And I find that most people really are interested in talking about their career, especially if they love it. Um, and most people like to talk about themselves. Um, also job shadowing. Um, job shadowing, if you can, is is great because you actually can get into the environment to see if, if you like it, are you gonna be able to handle the sights, the smells, the, the whole environment. Um, becoming a CNA, which is a certified nursing assistant, is um, another good way to get an entry-level position in healthcare where you're actually getting the chance to work with patients. Um, you know, you're, you're um, bathing patients, you're taking care of them, you're, you know, that way you can kind of get a sense of, you know, do I like being with people that are sick? You know, can I handle it? Uh, Solano offers this Nursing 103 as a course. It's a one semester course. Um, if you go on our nursing website, you can find out some more information about um, the orientation and the application, and that's a, actually a lottery as well. Um, that's just one place that you can do it. You can also do it through like a hospital or through an adult school, but I, I really recommend that to students. Plus, I think once students get into the nursing program, um, having that experience with patients kind of takes some of the shock off of that first semester. Um, volunteering in a healthcare setting in a hospital is, is also really good, um, but there's only so much you can do as a volunteer. The scope is very limited. Um, you know, I would say do that maybe before you jump into a CNA program. Um, definitely research. Another way you can research in addition to the online um, is going into our career center on campus, which is in um, building four, I'm sorry, the 400 building room 403. Um, you can also go online to solano.edu and click on the A to Z index and then click on C for the career center. Um, this is also a way to uh, get to the nursing information is you, you click on end for nursing. Um, and then we also have uh, a class called Counseling 5, which is career life planning. Um, this is a class that's taught by counselors and we um, go over with you. You take different assessments that deal with your personality. You look at what are you interested in. We, you look at your values. You look at your skills. Um, essentially, we look at, you know, who are you and then how is that all that information that you learn about yourself, how is that linked with careers? The assessments then link you to careers. And then you go through and you research those careers um, to kind of get an idea of, you know, again, are you really going to enjoy it? So Counseling 5 is a great class for um, especially a person who's really undecided and, and or, you know, anyone to take. Um, so I want to thank you for watching, and I hope that you um, enjoy watching some of these other videos, and hopefully I'm not too long-winded with this <laughs> stay-at-home order. I hope that everybody is um, safe and healthy, and please, by all means, um, once we um, are on campus again, please certainly come in to see us in the counseling office. Um, right now we are doing Zoom and uh, phone appointments, but we're here to help you. We can talk you through um, and kind of get an idea, help you to get an idea of what you might want to pursue and um, th what the pathway looks like to pursue that. So we wish you all the best and everybody have a great rest of the day or evening, depending on when you're watching this. Thank you.